Hey, Composing Gloves here, and today we are going to be talking about clipping and channel strips. So check it out. Let's, let's remind ourselves of what clipping is first. So in the side of the basics, we talk about it, but we'll cover it one more time here. So here's a signal. Let me turn this up. That's a signal, right? And right now it is being clipped. That's it unclipped, ironically. So it's being, something else is happening in that scenario. That's what we're going to talk about. So here we have a signal, right? Let's turn it down to regular and sounds like that. If we were to clip that signal, we'd basically chop off the bottom and top part of that waveform. And you get something that sounds a lot more like a square wave. And I'm doing this with a wave shaper that's just simply been just going to hard clip it. Bang, you hit a roof, can't go past that roof. So that's that's hard clipping, okay? Now, when you do when you go above the limit of your system, like if we go above 0 dB here, we are going to clip. However, and what if we clip in a channel strip? See, your master, your master has been configured because that's kind of what you're going to be sending out of the real world. That's where you're going to going to going to be converting. So, what happens with your master is going to be what you would typically expect. You can clip your master at zero dB. At least that's the way it's set up in FL. Versus channel strips. Channel strips uses floating point math, and all I really want to say in this video is that. That means you can't really clip them. They have tons and tons and tons of headroom, just like so much headroom, a lot of headroom. So check it out. As long as we don't clip our master, we can clip what looks like clipping our channel strip and it will still sound fine. Sounds like the same exact thing. If we were to hard, if we were to hard clip it with a plugin, then you get what would be the clipping. But here, no such thing. So what happens is we bring it in here and we limit it. So it cannot cannot exceed that. But the signal after the after it goes through here, if we were to put something over here, let's put another wave candy here. Do 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 and make it dark. Let's see what's happening because right now it's coming in and it goes through our processing, then it hits a limiter. So it's still really, really, really freaking loud, right? Let's change that back to a uh, oscilloscope, please. And then if we bring it down below the limiter, our limiter does a really good job of bringing it back down. So the point is you can actually clip in your channel strip and fix it by turning down another fader. Like it's ridiculous. So I could clip this one pretty hardcore send it into here exclusively right and then that and then i could fix it by turning this one down like you could do weird solutions like that that were not possible before floating point math so that's just something i want to clarify because some people flip out when they see a clipping and in your mix you're generally going to want to avoid it because you're sacrificing that headroom but then you can do things like this so just interesting options so that's that now you know and when your channel strip is clipping you generally still don't want to do that because you you want that headroom but you may be fixing it using some other method like it totally depends and i have had sounds that do rely on this thing like i've noticed that as soon as i bring it down it changes the sound differently because it's going to change the way it may hit my processing over here so if i had more stuff going on in this in this channel it would change that so that's kind of just something interesting a lot of people sometimes they see clipping they just they just flip out and you know chill out the one you need to be really concerned with is your master however you'll see in most of my mixes that i do not regularly make a habit of clipping it's usually only if i did some sound design and had it that way and i noticed a substantial change when i change it in that case you may consider just recording it and then mixing that but that's that. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have any, you know, any information you'd like to add, let, go ahead, comment away. Let's, let's hear it. I'm excited to hear what you have to say. Subscribe and have a blessed day. You don't have to do